Yeah, they do. Jacob, Rita and Samika rescue crews have been out here at least four times in the last month, recovering the bodies of drowning victims in the San Jacinto River. It's an extremely tragic situation, something rescue crews say could have easily been prevented if any of them had been wearing a life jacket. The Harris County Sheriff's Office received the call around 730 last night to the Magnolia Gardens Park near Beach and Riverside. Their marine unit began using sonar technology to search for the man in his 50s who witnesses say was swimming to the island in the San Jacinto River. They later found his body in water only about five feet deep. With how many drownings they've responded to in the last month, Lieutenant David Jasper has this warning for those planning to spend time near the open water this summer. It's not like a swimming pool where you can see the bottom, see how deep the water is, and there's no lifeguard on duty. So watch your kids, don't consume alcohol, wear life vest. Nearly a month ago, a man in his 20s drowned near Magnolia Gardens Park. A week later, a man drowned about six miles away near the Extreme Marina. Then on Saturday night, a six-year-old boy and a 12-year-old girl died in the same area. Now, the sheriff's office says that this man may have possibly had a heart condition, but they are unsure if that had anything to do with his death. His identity is pending investigation with the medical examiner's office. Reporting live from Northeast Harris County, Rosie Wynn, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.